adjustment that we're going to do to uh, part five of our centipede project. You'll recall when we left, we had it so that it would remove um, a centipede node every time one of our bullets hit one of the nodes, which is fine. Uh, as the game progresses, parts of the centipede are going to be in different parts of the canvas and so it might be possible that two bullets will be on the screen at the same time and intersect with uh, two different nodes at the same time and the code that we had in place would not account for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that adjustment now so that down the road uh, it won't come back to bite us. So you'll recall here's the code that we had and I had set up two variables to keep track of which bullets we were going to remove. And this assumed that only one of those things happened during each complete uh, cycle through these loops. Uh, and so what I want to do is just alter this a bit. Instead of making bullet to remove be one bullet, I'm going to start with an empty array here. And I'll do the same thing with node to remove. I'm going to make it nodes to remove and start it out as an empty array. Then as I cycle through, any time... I find a bullet that and a node that needs to be removed, I'm going to push them onto these arrays. So I'll push the Bs onto the bullets array, and I'll push the Cs onto the nodes array. And I can take, care, uh, take this uh, comment out because I went ahead and fixed it. Let me get this parenthesis out of here as well. So this way, if for some reason two of our bullets collide with two of our nodes in the same cycle, we'll have collected both of those. Now what that means is this line is going to have to change from an if to a for and we're going to run through all the bullets so we'll let b uh, equal zero and then um, b is going to be less than bullets to remove dot length so we'll run through the entire array and then we'll do a b plus plus right here. So we're going to cycle through the array, and then if one needs to be removed, it'll be located in bullets to remove bracket B. Now another thing I wanted to do was, if a bullet happens to intersect and take out a node, I want to allow the user to immediately fire another bullet. And so I need to set bullet delay to negative 1 so that they're allowed immediately to fire off another bullet. I'll show you how that plays out when we get to the code. And then I need another uh, for loop right here that I'll copy down. I'm going to make some adjustments. We'll call this C, not B, C, just C. Uh, and C is going to be uh, up to the length of nodes to remove. So nodes to remove that length and then C++. And then of course um, instead of uh, nodes, node to remove, we're going to nodes to remove bracket C uh, and then comma 1. Okay, so this little adjustment just allows us to collect any bullets and nodes that need to be removed from the game because they've collided in one complete cycle rather than just assuming only one happens. Most of the time it's just going to be one, but for some reason if we have two bullets on the screen that intersect with two nodes while we're running through a cycle, we want to be able to take care of that. Let me save this and I'll show you that barring any uh, typos, um, the code's going to work just fine here. And I'll also show you how once I hit uh, a node, I can immediately fire off another bullet. So here we go. Right now you can see the bullets are not firing, um, but as soon as I hit a, bullet, uh, hit a node, I can fire off another bullet. Let me get closer so it's a little more obvious. Okay, see how two get close together when I, ha when I have that? There we go. So I'm rewarded by hitting my target by immediately being allowed to shoot another bullet. I think that'll end up working out better for us. So we'll shoot faster as long as we're hitting something. If we don't like it, we can always take it out and just leave it alone. But I think I'm going to like that gameplay a little better. It's a nice little tweak there. Everything else seems to be working. Let's just check the console and make sure there are no issues. I don't think there are. We haven't had any errors yet. Uh, ooh, everything's looking good. This is just some information that I had printing out on one of my console.logs. So all of that's great. 
Uh, this is probably the shortest video I'll ever make in this series, but making that little tweak where we change these to an array that collects all the, of all of the bullets and nodes that need to be removed and then removing them uh, is a, probably a better way to implement that. And I also like this little tweak here where I add take the bullet delay down to negative one, which allows me to shoot another bullet. Okay, I feel better now. I'm glad I did this. Uh, in the meantime, this is still part of part five, but it's just a, an adjustment that we made. Part six will be coming later, uh, but if you do run into trouble implementing this, uh, you know where to find me. Take care.